Hello, welcome to another episode of Metris Maniacs. Today we are changing the oil in our 2016 Metris van. Um, we're going to be doing this tr the traditional way, which means I'm removing the drain plug at the bottom of the vehicle. I'm going to go through the various steps that you have to get to access the drain plug and to access the oil filter. Let's start by taking a look at the tools we need and the supplies that we're going to use on this job. Here are the tools we're going to need for today's job. We have a regular screwdriver. We have a T25 Torx wrench, half inch ratchet a 13 millimeter socket, and then we have two extensions and a universal joint and a one and one sixteenth inch socket, and that's to remove the oil cap. The screwdriver is gonna be used to keep the washer up against the head of the bolt at the bottom of the oil pan. The T25 Torx wrench is gonna be used to remove the, the engine protector, the plastic engine protector at the bottom of the um, entire engine all the way going down to the transmission. Um, and the wrench is going to be used for both the oil drain and the oil filter. And the 13 millimeter is the size of socket you're going to need to remove the drain plug. Here's what else we're using is a MAN HU7044Z. That is the filter for this vehicle. And two five quart containers of Castrol Edge. It's 0W40. That's the European formula that's approved by Mercedes. Um, we're not going to use all of that. We're actually going to use eight quarts, but this is the cheapest way to get it. So let's take a look inside this and see what we got. All right, we have our filter and we have our O-ring pack. There should be three O-rings in here. And I can see that there is. All right. Two smaller ones and one larger one. This is the panel that's gonna to need to be removed. Um, I'll show you all the different screws once I get it off. So here is the engine shield. Um, it's a lot of screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in the backside. So we got 10 total screws. Uh, they are Torx. T25s. This is what the screws look like. So now we're underneath the vehicle. This is the nut that I will need to remove. This is the oil drain plug. Um, you can see in relation to where the vehicle is, the oil pan just sits right in front of this crossbar. Um, so it's actually pretty far forward. Okay, I just took the drain plug out and I'm going to show you it's going out real slow. That's because right here, I haven't opened this yet. If I was to open this, the, the oil would just be flowing out, which makes a big mess, especially when you're removing the drain cap, I mean the drain plug. But here you can see it just, it's kind of glurking because it doesn't have the air, so it has to allow the air to get back into the engine as it's losing oil. This makes it a little bit cleaner. Um, it's not coming out as fast, so it's not gonna make as much of a mess. Okay, so our oil filter cap is down under here. This is what we have to remove to get to the oil filter for the housing. Um, so we got to get this air filter out of our way. We're not going to open up the air filter and get to the filter compartment, but we're going to move this out of the way. So refer to the air filter video um, if you don't know how to get this, take these components off. But there's a clip under here. This is going to come out. I'm going to undo this guy and I'm going to pop this off. It's going to make it free. It's only going to be connected with this one wire, but I'll be able to spin it out of my way completely. So, like I said, take a look at our air filter video if you want more detailed instructions. Here's the air filter off to the side. You can see that's the cap for the oil filter housing. So we just gotta undo that with our one and one sixteenth, pop that off, pull the whole housing out. There'll be a little bit of dripping. What we're gonna do is um, just make sure we get it over the pan that has the oil right now and let it just drip all out. All right, we loosen this guy up. I'm now gonna pull it out. I had already cracked it, all the oil went down. You wanna make sure you do this when the um, drain plug is still off so that you get all the oil that was held up in this area. So here's our oil filter housing. Um, this is the filter. You're just gonna pull that off. It's gonna be stuck on there pretty good. So that just pops right off. This stays, the plastic part stays behind. And then the O-rings that we're gonna be replacing, the brand new ones that we saw, there's one right here, there's one right here, and there's one way back, way back here. So that's the three O-rings we're gonna replace. I'm not gonna videotape that. You know how to take oil rings off. Just use a screwdriver or, or your fingers and just fingernail and just get underneath it, pull it off and put the new one on. 
I lube up the new one with a little bit of oil before I stick it on, but that's it. And then the filter has this nice, the actual filter has this nice little rubber piece, so it's easy to know which direction you're putting it on when you're putting it back on. Okay, there you go. All right, new filter on there, new O-rings, here we go. It takes a little bit of finagling to get it in there. Just gotta feel it out. It's that, it's that little, um, the beginning part has to fit in that small little hole. And now I'm just gonna turn it by hand. And don't forget you're seating on the O-ring. So you don't wanna over tighten, but I am gonna give it um, a tighten with the wrench. I am gonna use that to tighten it up. Okay, and got the oil filter housing back on. I put the air filter back on. The um, oil filter cap has a newton meter spec on there with a torque wrench, so I went ahead and did that. It's 25 newton meters. Um, and now I've got this nice little funnel. It makes it much easier to pour into the filler cap for the oil for the engine. So with the final stages, I'm going to put the oil in, close it all up, reverse of what we saw before putting the pan back on, and we are done. Thanks for watching another episode of Metris Maniacs. Subscribe to this channel, and we will put more stuff on as we do it. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.